Hello Libra and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here... Okay, there's your cards. I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Libra. Let's see what we have for you for the week ahead. Just pull one more card for you. What do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Okay. And one's, oh, two have turned up here, so let's just take them. See what we have. There's quite a few cards here, Libra, but let's go with it. Eagle, triumph over troubles, obstacles. Fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, grey or white hair. Man, dealings or relationship with a man. We've got table, hard work ahead. Key, successful outcome to your problems. It's likely you hold the key though here or a solutions presented. With that, we've got candle. You will be shown the way. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and with that, we've got woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman. All right, Libra, let's pull you a destiny card, see what we have for you. This is the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck. Let's see what we have for our lovely Librans. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. So we've got Voyage. Let me just get that in front of me. Humpback Whale. Get ready. You are about to embark on a journey. It might be an inner sojourn or an outer voyage to a distant land. It might be a project or an idea that is coming to life, but most certainly you are an intrepid traveller sallying forth into the unknown. Where do you want to go? What have you always wanted to, be, to do or be? This is the time to make it happen. Get prepared. Have a clear vision of what you want to experience, but also be prepared for the unexpected. That is part of the exhilaration of being a traveller. Remember to enjoy the journey as much as reaching the end destination. Uh, the whale can actually be part of your soul path. Uh, so it's going to be intuitive here. Let's see what we have for you. All spirit driven. Let's see what we have for you, Libra. Let's pull you an Archangel Michael card. We have number 20. No, it is not yet time. This is not the divine right time to take action. Please be patient. The opportune moment is approaching. I mean, we do weeklies here, so could be some kind of uh, process or experience you're going through. Let's see what we have with the cards. What do we have for Libra? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for the week ahead. Message for Libra. Message for Libra, thank you. So we have the Five of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Queen of Wands can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. Action orientated, go getting, driven, likely exciting, confident. Quite a charismatic character. Seven of Pentacles. We've got a page of Pentacles here. Seven of Wands.
we have the star and we have the four of cups so let's pull a card for the five of pentacles Five of Pentacles, thank you for Libra. We've got the Three of Swords. Three of Swords, in uh, it can be linked with a painful truth, third party situations, emotional pain, uh, betrayal. I mean, there's levels to this. Yeah, but we always learn something from this. Uh, it feels like something has happened here, Libra, and it's made you feel lack. Now, that could be financial changes in your employment, changes in your working hours, changes in investments in some way. This can be, uh, you know, emotional pain, disappointment to do with money, career, finances. Um, it can also be in terms of relationships, being hurt. I'm, you know, you've been hurt in some way. And again, the five of pentacles, I don't like the way you make me feel, not good enough, not valued, not appreciated, not worthy. I mean, there is that scenario as well with the um, Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Uh, you might feel that as well, you know, not good enough, not valued, not appreciated, not worthy in your current circumstances. Something happening here that causes you emotional pain. But it looks like the solution, I mean, this is the candle moving, for, this is that candle energy. It feels like a, a path is lit and it starts with a message. Uh, because the, the Six of Cups, it, it can be linked with uh, reconnecting to the past in some way. Now, with the Page of Pentacles, there could well be a message to do with the practical world. Money, career, finances, um... Uh, so it could well be a place where you used to work that you were likely happy. Someone's telling you about something here. Yeah, and I, I think this Queen of Pentacles, this just feels like this is... This is somebody who is likely uh, defending and protecting, you know. This just feels like this person is is uh, defending and protecting you in some way here, Libra. I mean, this could be your rock, certainly in terms of money, career, finances. Uh, this is likely someone saying it's not your fault. Um, uh, this can be somebody who is... Um, supporting you on your path to overcome some kind of issue or challenge in some way again you could be doing that for somebody else as well um but this just feels like this feels like this queen of wands is certainly in terms of money would likely be somebody who is uh defending you standing up for you um you know certainly helping you i mean we can with the seven of wands energy we can defend and protect ourselves we can also you know defend and protect other people um and this is what i'm getting here certainly from a money point of view it could well be here that i mean whoever this person is i i think that this is likely somebody who is defending and protecting you in some way likely uh, somebody who, who is a rock Especially if you feel that something's happened here and you're feeling at a low point. This is likely somebody who has been strong for you here and even financially supporting you. But the, the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, this feels like um, there is a new path here. And I think that you're hearing some kind of news or there's a message here. Um, and it's to do with connecting to your past. It could be a past place of work that you were happy with. 
again, you could also be defending and protecting, you know, your financial stability and security, uh, persevering on a path here. And again, this Queen of Wands could be bringing this opportunity in. So however that manifests for you. This is where you're getting to that point here, Libra, where the, the Four of Cups, the Star and the Seven of Pentacles, this is where you're taking stock and evaluating whether you're going to get some kind of offer. Uh, likely in terms of this will be job, business, opportunity, career. And I will, I will come to relationships in a moment because I was getting a thread for that as well. But this is um, your wait. I think that you're just waiting. Uh, the the four, of, four of Cups and the Star, um, this, this is just having faith. There is hope in a situation, and this is after significant change, um, that has left you feeling lack and upset and hurt. Uh, and even though there is that energy of no, it is not yet time this week, there's every reason to be hopeful and optimistic. The thing that you've been um, persevering towards here, and I think that there's a very positive message here, uh, whether somebody has been supporting you in terms of defending and protecting, again, your financial stability and security, or you've been doing that yourself. And Queen of Wands can be a leader in business as well. The, the Seven of Pentacles, you don't know yet. You don't know yet whether you're going to be successful financially. But I think that, I mean, there's a strong energy here that, you know, a spirit is almost kind of like lighting this path for you in some way or lighting the way forward here. So it looks here at Libra, certainly in terms of, of uh, money, career, finances, something is coming in or there is every reason to be hopeful and optimistic that a blessing is coming in. But it's about keep on doing what you're doing right now. Uh, there's a level of perseverance with these cards, um, but it is leading somewhere, you know. So it's just about keeping keep on doing what you're doing. The energy with um, the love, romance, relationships and the message that I was getting, this could well be if there was a breakup because you did, you weren't valued or appreciated in some way. There's a message, either somebody who's in your current environment or somebody who you might have just broken up with because something happened here that made you feel not valued, not worthy, not, not, not treated as you should be, not valued or appreciated, all that sense of there's not enough in this to keep me in it. Um, even if you've been putting a lot of time and energy into a relationship, which you likely would have with the Six of Cups, it's quite a, and it's, we've got memories with the Six of Cups and history, you know. Um, so this is either someone returning from the past or in your current circumstances. There's an opportunity to start over on a solid footing and plant new seeds. This Queen of Wands and the, and the Seven of Wands, uh, I think that you're defensive against this Queen of Wands, male or female, even though this is somebody who's likely a larger than life character, confident, driven, go-getting, uh, likely to be successful as well and likely to be well-liked by people. Um, the Seven of, of Wands, I feel that you're a little bit defensive and you're not sure whether you want to or not. And you know deep down that you need to consider what someone's offering you and decide whether you move forward in faith. Now, this is because you, we move forward in faith because we don't know what's going to happen. We consider the history, the nostalgia, the memories, what, what led up to the point. And then I feel that this person did something that caused the potential of a breakup. Whether it was in the past, whether it's just recent, the same message applies. So I feel that you're defensive because likely you don't want to be hurt again and you know that you'll just be pretty much taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, taking a chance on this person. Um, and I think that you're going through a period and the advice would be also Libra, look at the event what led to a breakup and then look at weigh that against the whole history that you have with this person and weigh it up against each other, you know, and balance it out. And it might well be that um, moving forward in faith, uh, you go at your own pace. I mean, this is about aligning with your kind of, like I said, your soul path here. And you ultimately have the key. Uh, the solution is going to be presented to you either way, I feel. But I think it's like slightly a bit longer than a week. Uh, and, and sometimes we just have to have faith. But there is also a sign here with the star. Blessings, wish fulfillment, healing, you know, recovery, recovery. 
light after dark energy is coming into your life after a period of, of pain or upset or hurt is the energy here. This is that eagle energy triumph over adversity in some way, however you choose to, to make that happen. Let's pull one more card for Libra, thank you. Yeah, just, oh my goodness, keep on doing what you're doing here, Libra. The Eight of Pentacles can be putting time and energy into something that you feel is worthwhile. Now, th in relationships, this can be about building back up and getting the happiness back because you think it's worth, because you think it's worth it. Again, the second wish fulfillment card here, getting your heart's desire. So there's an opportunity if you put it, it doesn't mean that it's not going to take work. It is. This takes a lot of work. However, there is happiness on this path. And similarly, it's about keep on doing what you're doing, get your head down in money, career, finances. There may well be a little bit more, more, more work to do here, which is what I was saying, but you're going to get your wish. You know, whatever this new message is coming in, it feels like it's going to bring, again, that sense of new abundance, getting your wish, uh, what you're working towards. It feels like it's going to come to fruition. You're being told, I mean, spirit's being really clear, it's not time yet, but keep on doing what you're doing. All the effort will pay off depending on what you choose to put your effort and time into. Either way, whatever you're putting time and energy into, it's leading to happiness, abundance, fulfillment, success. Let's pull you a guardian angel card. What do we have for Libra? Thank you, angel spirits guides. Message for Libra. <laughs> yeah, trust. You are looking at a situation from a purely physical perspective, and therefore you cannot see the bigger picture and the blessings interwoven within this event. We, your angels, urge you to trust, for all will work out in the best way possible. Let go of your fear and apprehension and allow God's healing energy to flow to you. Trust, for all will heal in ways you never thought possible. So this week, you need to surrender in trust, trust your instincts, trust what you're putting time and energy into, trust what you're putting time and energy into that you think is worthwhile because it's leading somewhere really beautiful. It is a journey. Like I said, there is hard work involved in this, but it is going to be worth it. That's what I have for you, Libra, for, and again, this is either something that's affecting the man and the woman. Like I said, there could have been some kind of third party station with Th third party situation with two women card coming out as well um not limited to that but for others of you this could be something that's affected a relationship um or again you could be connecting to one or two of these people that are bringing you in a wish so however that manifests for you that's what I have for you, Libra, for the week ahead. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.